Hey everyone, Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA here. Now I want to go over how you can, what I call harvest a slicer selection or harvest a value inside of a measure to, to reuse in another measure and to, and to uh, use in combination with, with the measure branching technique, which I talk a lot about. Okay, now let's just jump into it. It's not actually that difficult. The a Power BI team have made some updates to formulas in recent times that enable this sort of work uh, you know, in, a, in, a, in a far more effective way than what it had to be previously, had to be done previously. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, I've got a, a really simple measure here, right? A sum of my revenue, so just a sales. But it could be anything. It could be your quantity. It could be your costs. It could just be any core measure that you create, right? Okay, and what I want to do is I want to sort of show, okay, well, if all of these incre increased by a selected amount, by like, say, 5%, 10%, 15%, what would the impact be, right? And I want to make it dynamic so that I can select different amounts and then be able to see what the new sort of scenario amount is. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to create this is we need to enter data. Okay, so I'm going to enter some values in here. And then we're going to harvest a selection based on these values. Okay, so I'm going to call this one percent change, right? And then I'm going to put some values in here. I'm going to say 5%, 10%, 15, 20, and let's go 30% as well. Okay, and we'll call this one percentage, percentage change. So I'm basically creating a brand new table here. Okay, and then I'm going to load that in. And then this particular table will come into my model, um, just like all, all tables do. But I've, you know, instead of, say, getting it from Excel, I've just literally created it from scratch using this, this fancy little feature that is embedded into Power BI Desktop. So if I come to my model here, you'll see that I now have my percentage change and usually you know I call these these tables supporting tables and you'll see here I've set up my model in a specific way so I'm just going to rearrange these just a touch and then I can put my measures out to the side which is what I like to do you know this is just my my preference and how I advise to sort out your model and I think you know I still believe even after years of doing this that this is still the best way and I've got my so I've got my percentage change down here my supporting table okay now so how do I actually harvest a selection in a measure, right? So I've created here, I'm creating a slicer and we want this to be a list like so. We also, just before we move on, we also want to come across to here and we want to change the uh, format of this particular table, right? We want a percentage. So I'm just going to change it to a percentage, but I don't think we need the decimal points. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. And now I come back here and this should up, this should update. Let's just double check. Okay, so it's updated there. Maybe we need to just redo it. Okay, and we can make this a touch bigger as well. Cool. Okay, so what I want to do, right, is I want to be able to select one of these and be able to harvest that measure i want to be able to see that be able to input this measure and and combine it with my total sales to see what a scenario what the scenario sales would be okay so we can't at the moment you know at the moment it's just a column we need to get it into get it into a measure okay and so actually i'm just gonna get this a little bit lower so it's the same as the others okay now what i need to do here is i need to create a new measure i'm going to say here um percent change okay so I'm just gonna go percent change and now what I can do is I can use this measure called selected value it makes it super easy to do this right selected value percentage change I can grab that particular column now the alternative result is quite important here because if say nothing is selected then you're going to get an error if you don't put an alternative result. So maybe the alternative result is we want it to be zero. Sometimes you can also use blank, but that's not going to help us in this case. If nothing is selected, we want to show that there's zero um, impact. There's zero percentage change, right? And so now I just need to make sure this is formatted correctly as well. I'll turn this into a percentage. Okay. 
okay and then I can I'll drag this into the canvas here and we'll look at it as a card okay so 15% right this is what I mean by harvesting and then I can select that and I can select 20 and then I can select that and I get 10% okay and this is this is um, you might think maybe you think this is simple but this is the beginnings of some quite advanced analytics especially around scenario analysis predictive analysis this is how you can embed these sort of values into your reports and get dynamic calculations that you maybe never have seen before okay and so then when I drag this into here you'll see that I now have this 10% across every single line right and I'm harvesting it um, by this selection it changes by the selection so now what I can do is I can come in here and I can create another measure and I can call this one scenario sales or, so, or something like that predicted sales or something and then I can go equals and then it's seriously easy from here all I need to do is go total sales times one plus the percent change right and I just like to have a, a space around my um, my brackets and then I just go enter okay and this is how you can create these dynamic calculations just, and just think about ways that you can expand on this this is just this is just stage one you know you can have multiple different parameters you know impacting your scenario sales and, and I've gone into this quite you know quite a lot in other in other particular um, video series and and we've even got a um, an entire course module at Enterprise DNA within our, our education platform, which covers this uh, scenario analysis, extending this to a, you know, a very advanced, uh, a very advanced stage. Okay, and so now I have this scenario sales as a dynamic calculation. Okay, and that's what you can achieve by harvesting your your slicer selections. Okay. And you see here that it is nothing difficult. You know, it is literally just recognizing that you can use the selected value function, and then embedding the uh, particular column that you that, that you created using get data into the selected value parameter. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover in this one. Good luck working through this particular example. Uh, there's you know as I mentioned so many different ways that you can um, you can utilize uh, this particular feature okay good luck with this one hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise DNA TV if you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise DNA TV channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.